Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I'm UK Daz as always and in this video I'm going to be telling you about the functions and features you can expect to see on your Lovence remote app. No matter what toy you buy from Lovence, the remote app is the brains behind it all. Whether you're using it on your own or on long distances with a partner, you're going to need to know what features and functions you can use together or on your own and get the best experience from the Lovence remote app. I'm going to show you the remote app on the mobile phone today. There is a PC version which you connect to your Lovence device via USB. This is sold by Lovence as well. Uh, the layout is slightly different on the remote app to the phone, but in principle, all the features and functions are exactly the same. It's just connected differently. But the most common way I think a lot of people use the remote app is on the phone. So I'm going to show you what everyone else is using. This is what I use as well. It is important that I tell you that there is a massive thunderstorm going on outside. So bear with the background noise. It is absolutely tipping it down and thunder and lightning. So sorry about the background noise. Before you can use any of the Lovence toys remotely, you will have to create an account with them. I've left the link here. If you want to see how to do that, just go to the timestamps in the description. First thing you'll need to do when you open your app is connect to your device. It takes two seconds to do, it's just a couple of screens that just search for your love ends. Make sure you turn on to start off with by holding the power button on and make sure your Bluetooth switched on. Once the home page is loaded, you're going to have five options to choose from and three along the bottom row. The first screen I'm going to show you is the remote page and you would think this is what you're going to use for long distances, it's not. It's anything within range of your Bluetooth. So if your partner's sitting on the other side, this is the screen they're going to use to control your Lovence device. As you can see, there's a pink line that goes across the top of your page. There's a pink ball at the bottom. And along the left hand side, you've got like a little scale that goes up along the side of the screen with a max line, a timer. And on the right of the screen, you've got loop, float, and traditional. If you start moving the pink ball up and down, that's your vibration of your toy. So the higher you move it in the screen, the more it's going to vibrate. If you click on the loop button, any movements you make up and down on that screen will just get continuously looped. You'll notice is every time you let go of the ball on the screen, it will reset itself to the bottom. If you click the float button, it will hold it at whatever level you set it at. And if you click on the traditional panel, it brings up the old style of remote app. And it's just a bar that goes up and down. You don't have the loop function or the floating function because that floating function is actually built in. So every time you release your finger off the phone, it does keep your vibration settings at the same time. It doesn't reset itself at the bottom. All you need to do to go back to using the little ball is click on the slider widget on the right hand side. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a like and also hit the subscribe button. Next on the home page is the patterns tab. Along the top row, you're going to see all the preset vibration settings that Lovence has made for you already. Once you've selected the pattern you want to use, it brings up basically like a music player. And from there, you can control the speed of it so you can make it go faster or slower while it's vibrating. You can also pause the program or skip forward and backwards to different patterns. Now back in the patterns tab, we're going to create our own pattern this time. And we do this by clicking on the create pattern button, which is the little pink cross. And it's going to bring up a menu that has four different options on it. One vibrate, two vibrate vibrate and rotate and vibrate on and contract this is where it gets really interesting because if you click on the one vibrator it's the same basic layout as the remote panel it does all the same functions um nothing too un out of the ordinary shall we say if you've got two devices connected at the same time then the next three options is what you're going to need and what will happen is it will bring up a screen that lets you control both of the devices at the same time. It's the same style as the remote panel, 
but this time what will happen is you'll have two balls at the bottom of the screen each moving independently and you can set those to do the same so they can both loop at the same time or they can one can loop and one can float and once that pattern is complete you can save it just click the done button in the top right hand corner and it will save that pattern to your playlist now that you've saved your pattern you can click on the three little dots and it will let you share the pattern with others so if you've got a partner or a friend even the rest of the world you can upload it to Lovence through the share button now back to the main menu where we're going to click this time on the music tab this function again just blows my mind a little bit where you can add your playlist of music to the app and the device will vibrate to the same beat as your playlist so if you've got loads of really fast music it will also vibrate at the same pace you can also connect it to spotify which i think is awesome that you can add your music from your spotify account and play it and your playlists will vibrate your toy if you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a like and also hit the subscribe button. Next in the main menu is the alarm tab and you can set alarms and reminders throughout the day to vibrate at set times. The layout's a little bit basic. I was expecting maybe a little bit more from what I've seen so far, but still a cool little function nonetheless. Back to the main menu this time and we're going to click on the sound tab. Now I thought this was going to be similar to the music tab and it kind of is and it isn't because what it does is uses the phone's microphone to adjust the speed and the vibrations of your toy. The louder the environment you're in, the more it vibrates. Make menu time again and now we're going to click on the long distance tab on the bottom row. This is where you can let other people connect to your device or you can connect to their device. As you can see on the top there, I've got three requests for people looking to use my device. If I click on the plus key, I can type in their username and connect to their device and control their toy. So that's what you do with the long distance. That's how that kind of works. Now we're going to click on the discovery tab on the bottom row. At the time of recording, there is two options. This does change because as new features come available, they do get added to this list. First, we're going to click on the patterns tab. And as I said earlier, you can share your patterns that you create with Lovence. And this is where they end up. As you can see along the top row, you can see the most popular ones, the most recent uploads. And if you scroll along further, there's other ones that are featured by Lovence. You can test all the patterns by clicking on the play button on the right hand side. If you do like the pattern itself, then you can download it. It tells you how many people have liked it in the past and also how many people have downloaded it. Now, if we go back to the discovery window, we're gonna now click on the speed mode. Now, I didn't know what to expect from this function, but what I discovered is the more you move your phone, the more your toy will vibrate. The app uses your phone's internal sensors to activate the toy. Now, if you don't want to sit there holding the screen and moving the toggle up and down, you can sit there and shake it and it will activate your phone. The final option on your homepage is the Me page. This is where you can see all your toys, device settings and app settings. You can also change the layout of your homepage from here as well. And finally, if you click in the top right hand corner of your home page, it will bring up a small menu. From here, you can add more friends, add toys and share your link. I hope you found this video useful. If you found it inspiring enough to go and buy a Lovence toy, then please use the affiliate link in the description below. It doesn't cost you any more to use, but it does give me a small percentage of Lovence's earnings like follow share subscribe and hit that notifications icon if you've got any questions hit me up on the comments box below on my blog or come and find me on social media all the links for those are in the description below 
Until next time, guys, peace out.